Hi, I'm John McAuliffe, Chief Marketing Officer of VFM Leonardo, and welcome to VTV. VTV has been produced for hotel e-commerce, marketing, and sales professionals to provide insights, knowledge, and learnings from industry experts on how to extract more value from a hotel's presence. Each week, I will interview an industry expert on a single topic. We have discovered many of these topics from industry people like yourself and encourage you to let us know if there is a topic you would like us to cover in future episodes of VTV. You can email us at vtv at vfmleonardo.com and make your suggestions. Welcome to today's episode. Our topic today is visual content decisions, what, how much, and why. And I am joined by David Attardi. David is the Director of E-Commerce at BF Sol & Company. He manages all e-commerce activities for BF Sol's 18 hotel properties. David, welcome to VTV and thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Visual content is really an all-encompassing term and there seems to be a lot of different types of media out there. Photos, virtual tours, video, flash presentations, etc. Can you give us your opinion on the role of each of these types of media and how, what role they play in the uh, travel shopping process? Also, what types and how much visual content would you recommend for hotels to have available to online travel shoppers? Um, well, first of all, I think there's a place for all of those. Um, I, I think personally, uh, in my experience, I value some more than others, but I definitely think there is a place for still photography and, and, and what we call 360-degree virtual tours, um, any, any flash presentations and video. Um, all of those kind of play different roles, but I think are all part of a, a coordinated media front, if you will. Um, I, I, I'm a big proponent of, of video over virtual tours. Um, and, and there's a lot of reasons why I think it's just a, a much better way to tell your story and to inspire uh, viewers. Um, and, and I think, I just personally, I think the virtual tour, the 360 degrees are kind of a, in a lot of ways, outdated technology. And, and I think they distort the, the view oftentimes of photos and, and the property that you're trying to highlight. They kind of give that fishbowl effect, if you will. So I, I prefer video. Um, but I, I think video and, and still photography are by far the number one assets that um, are, are going to move your hotel, sell your hotel rooms online. Um, and I think those I think those things work together. I, you know, uh, hotels are all ongoing on an ongoing basis, experiencing um, kind of relaunches or revitalizations and, and improvements and renovations, and you know, telling your story as that story evolves is very very important. Um, and I think using video to target, you know, to, to speak to your number one customer, whether it be a leisure traveler if you're at a vacation resort or to a, a business traveler that's coming in town, you know, from Tuesday to Thursday, really using, uh, using those media, using that media to tell the story to those people. You talked about uh, business travelers and leisure travelers, and, and, and certainly a lot of hotels are, are discovering that uh, they have different customer segments. Can you talk to us about uh, how you deal with that uh, and how you um, align your visual content to uh, the primary target segments of, of your hotel customers? Yeah, you know, we have... Um you know, ideally, obviously, there, there would be, <laughs> we'd have a video for every different market segment, and every different market segment would all go to one place to look. Um, unfortunately, we, that's not the case, as, as we know. Um, so what we try to do is we try to have different types of, of media that speak more to the services and amenities or location of a particular demographic or a particular market segment, and then put, those, put that media in a place where we think they're likely to find it. Um, for example, we know that our business travelers are, when they're booking online, they're booking primarily uh, through our brand websites. Um, so, you know, we want to put a video that highlights the great reasons why they should stay at our properties because of their location, uh, their convenience to the businesses that they may be visiting, 
um, their accessibility to public transportation, their great benefits as uh, frequent travelers. We want to put that video or the, in that media, or whether it be still photography, whatever, very accessible and, and uh, findable on our brand website. There are, um, you know, there's typically OTAs, Travelocity, Expedia, things like that provide us much more of a leisure base. Um, so, you know, potentially putting video that speaks to that customer that's coming down, whether it be our Florida properties um, during, the, during the winter or coming to Washington, D.C. for Cherry Blossom Festival, put a video that really highlights the surrounding area and, and inspires people and gets people excited about visiting our hotels where those people would find it, which may be Expedia, Travelocity, whatever. Also, um, on sort of the natural video uh, outlets through um, user-generated content. YouTube, for example, um, engaging Facebook and different travel or different uh, social sites to upload video. And it's funny, I, I actually I, um, heard a story just a couple days ago about someone that is a legitimate traveler and a legitimate travel shopper who his, his thing is that instead of going to search engines or to Trip, uh, TripAdvisor or to Expedia or whatever, the first place he goes to search for hotel rooms is YouTube. And he'll type in whether it be hotels in a certain market or a hotel name and just see what he gets. Um, and he just values the, the hotel experience and what a hotel is telling him about that experience so much that he thinks video is the best way for him to receive that message. And uh, at first I was fascinated by this, thinking, wow, that's, that's pretty odd. But I don't think that is so odd. And um, the more I think about it, I think that might be more and more, um, you know, more and more common as we move forward. And you know, somebody like that is going straight to YouTube. So we need to have we need to have our hotels on YouTube and have our have our media there, so that when someone finds it, we can we can speak to them. That's interesting. It it it, uh, it would seem that uh, the search criteria that that person has is that the hotel that they want to stay at must have a video describing the experience that they're going to have at that hotel. So it, it probably eliminates an awful lot of hotels right. from his uh, uh, list. Right, and you know, and, and that's, which is interesting because we, we know that there are tons of great hotels out there that may be better than hotels with videos, but he's, he's not, they're not going to find him because he's not looking there. So I think you know, that's, that's probably, as you said, that's, that's the point. Now, um, it's interesting. I, I saw a recent uh, study um, uh, that Google uh, had um, uh, initiated about uh, online travel shopping. And, and as you had indicated, uh, business travelers, uh, um, more often than, than leisure travelers, will go to the brand.com site where leisure travelers um, are more predisposed to, to going to third-party uh, uh, travel sites and, and, and doing their search there. So I understand when you say that um, uh, you segment the types of videos that you have uh, to uh, your different sites based on the type of, of customer that, uh, or segment that uses those sites. Um, is there a value uh, on the leisure traveler in being able to segment uh, even further? Uh, and if it's not by type of leisure traveler, uh, by seasonality? Um, is there a value? Absolutely. Um, you know, the, the, the more targeted you can speak to a, a person looking for a very refined search or very refined criteria, the better. Um, you know, I think one of the, uh, a, a good story of how we use our video offline um, and that supplements our online activities is having customized videos for um, things like reservation agents at, um, at central reservation offices uh, and um, as well as, as travel agents uh, and travel agencies and having and using video that we create in a very, you know, what I would call modular way so that we can customize different videos for different purposes, whether it be to highlight um, a, a part of our portfolio that's all with one brand or, or all in one location, whatever, to highlight them uh, in, on, in person, on site at a, at a central reservation office or travel agency. I think that's to direct targeting where we're reaching the people that, you know, are, that, matter very, that matter a lot to us in a way that they're going to hear it because we're creating a video specifically tailored to them. Now on the leisure side, unfortunately it's a little, it's a little trickier, but um, you know, we know 
we know where they're looking. Uh, as you mentioned, they're 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 looking a lot of um, of um, OTAs, Expedia, Travelocity, and you know we can kind of figure out when they're looking. So you know maybe it's a matter of um, targeting keyword searches or keyword buys um, on those sites to get placement to to pay for placement during search. Uh, certain search times to get in front of the people that are looking segmented by season or by de- um, by profile, whether it be leisure coming for you know for the winter to like I said to our Florida properties or the DC for Cherry Blossom Festival, whatever we can drill down uh, if you know if 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 we have the the resources to do so to drill down to find them to put the right media in in front of them. Certainly the uh, technology available to us uh, today allows us to be able to, to really get a good understanding of what people are searching for so that we can actually adapt ourselves to, to appealing to what their need is. Uh, it's interesting, I've seen uh, one particular uh, hotel resort produce videos uh, and their primary uh, asset as they saw it initially was uh, a golf course they had on the property. So they had a video for the golfer hmm. uh, and they realized some extended value by having a video for the non-golfer, and, and that video focused on, uh, for, for the most part, uh, uh, the person traveling with the golfer that may not want to golf, uh, that may want to go to the spa or the restaurant or, or uh, some of the attractions in the, near, in the area. And, so I, and I, think that's a, I think that's a great example, and you know, I think bid- videos have to tell your story in a way that's, as we said, that's inspiring or whatever, but that's and robust, but it's not too much, you know, I mean, one video to tell that that whole property story about options for golf, non-golfers, spa, whatever, that's a lot to, that's a lot to, to, to bite off. Um, but really specific targeted videos for each of those, I think that's a, I think that's a really smart thing to do. So um, many uh, segmented shorter videos is probably going to be more value to you than one longer video trying to encompass everything. I, I, yeah, I think so, especially, you know, for, for depending on the audience. I mean, if you have a if you have a captive audience like we do with these, you know, in our visits to these uh, reservation offices or agencies or whatever, you know, we can we try to tell our whole story with one video. But yeah, I mean, when you when you're looking at people and you're trying to make an impression as quickly and as ro- as deeply as possible, a, a, a video where they get immediately what they're expecting. If somebody clicks a video that says, you know, uh, clicks a link that says view our golf video and they're immediately talking about golf, then you got a better chance of retaining them on there than if you start talking about your, you know, the entrance to the hotel before you get to the golf park. Right. David, thank you once again for joining us on VTV. My pleasure. Uh, to uh, all the viewers out there, uh, be sure to visit vtv.vfmleonardo.com and post your comments. Tune in next week for more from another industry expert.